Hi there, this is Fixed It. I'm investigating the leak on this tap and I'll show you how to turn the water off. Down the side, we've got these stop valves. If you don't know how to get at them, I recommend you check out the video link just above. Okay, and what I need to do is to just turn the water on so I can hear it running. And then I need to turn this valve here. until it stops. Okay, so now that's the, the water off. And I've done the same on the other side as well, because if you've got a dual tap like this, if you turn it off on one side, but not on the other, you risk firing water all over the bathroom or kitchen, <laughs> which is not a good idea. So make sure you've got both stop valves turned off. And now what I need to do is to actually get at the tap itself. The first thing I need to do is to take off the top and to do that I need to take out this plastic plug and before I do that what I need to do is to press down the plug to make sure that it's sealed because you don't want to lose anything into the u-bend otherwise you will have to disconnect everything okay so that takes off the blue stopper well that's somewhere safe and now inside there you've got a tiny tiny little alum nut so I'm going to put an alum key in there and just turn it until such time as the top of the tap comes off. But that's somewhere safe. Now, if you try to get a spanner around this, what will happen is your spanner will continually slip off. Not all of the nut is exposed, but there's a collet here. So if you turn that, you then get more access. Put that safely to one side and now I need to find a spanner. Okay, I'm not sure whether or not this is a traditional washer system or whether or not it's going to be one of the ceramic valves, but uh, let's do this. It's anti-clockwise on these. Oh, that's lucky. Turns really easily. Some of these can be a real pain. If you're doing it, be careful. And just before you take it off again, just look down. Make sure you've definitely got the water turned off. But there's still some in that. So what I need to do is just make sure that that valve is open. Now, let's just use the top. Okay, just make sure that's up. And you're gonna get some water coming out. That should be it. Okay, so it's uh, one of the ceramic inserts. And as you can see at the bottom here, there's actually some scale and sort of scale around the edges. So I just need to clean that up a little bit. Okay, I've got my pipette here and I'm just gonna suck that water out of there. that this connects to which is just inside as you can see the inside surface has got some scale on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that off and there's a specific tool for doing that the tool I'm going to use is called a tap reseater and basically they come in different sizes but it's got a very very sharp cutting surface on the end and you insert that into the socket and you gently move it around until it removes all of the scale from that surface so I'll set that up and give it a go and then we'll see the results. The way to use the reseater is to wind this barrel back so this part's only short and then put the large piece in there and screw it until it's tight. Now if you turn, if you hold on to this collar here and turn, it's just spinning. Now gently turn this part until you start to get some tension. Okay, I've got some tension there. 
so I just don't want to, that to get too much but I just gently want to be you can hear it it's basically just grinding any light scale off that surface you don't want too much because otherwise it'll take too much of the brass off but you do want it smooth okay and now unscrew the big one and it comes away and now we should have a nicely cleaned surface inside now you can use cotton wool buds to just get around inside and pick up any dirt and debris that's coming off from there as you can see we live in a very hard water district so even water laying there for a few days rapidly leaves scale behind so there we have it it's looking nice and clean in there now before I put the ceramic top back in place what I'm going to do is to just briefly turn the water on gently so it will flush any bits out that were there we have to do it very carefully because otherwise it'll spray everywhere as you can see so I'm going to do that enough to make sure it's got all the bits out okay and turn it off again there we go okay so before I put the ceramic valve back in I put a little bit of PTFE tape around the thread and that'll just stop it scaling which will make it easier to remove at a later date so let's just screw that in and then gently tighten that up don't need it too tight okay so that's that on and now I'll just put the top on and turn the water on just to make sure so I'll turn that off okay and then turn the water back on underneath and we're looking for any drips absolutely no drips okay so let's take that off and put the collar back on perfect and now I just need to fasten that up with my little allen key okay just hand tight will do and put Oops. Put the, the blue cold water UK indicator in there. And there we have it. We have a non drip working tap, and the only thing I had to do was to use this device to uh, clean out the bottom. And it worked absolutely perfectly. Okay, now to do the other side. Having fixed the cold, I've come to the hot and it's completely gunked and it would not come loose. Everything I tried, all the right tools and everything, that's completely and totally jammed. 
in there. So what I'll do is I'll take the valve out of the other side because I know it's a working valve and I'll keep that as a spare. But what I need to do now is to actually replace the entire tap unit. All because somebody didn't put some PTFE tape or grease on the thread and it's well and truly jammed. I've even tried heating it and uh, getting it out but absolutely nothing moved it. And as you can see because it's brass it just completely shreds and the more times you go around it the more of a mess it makes. So that's where this project ends. So we successfully managed to do one of the taps, but the hot taps completely wrecked and not coming out. So I need to replace the entire unit and I'll show you how to do that now. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos and check out my plumbing tips, which you'll find in the playlist on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.